you know, if the Taurus sun is like a bull, then the Taurus moon is kind of like a nice, peaceful, happy cow. So, you know, if you want to know more about what Taurus moons are like and what their nature is like, then find out in this video. personalities like but before I get started with the video uh, I basically help you overcome challenges in your life so you know if you're feeling stuck in any area of your life that could be love relationships finance health or your career I can help you move through these challenges work through these challenges and help you reach the fullest potential that you're really truly capable of and so the way I do this is by analyzing your birth chart so I do natal chart readings I do synastry chart readings or love compatibility readings and I also do tarot card readings. So I analyze your birth chart, I figure out where the challenges are and I basically prescribe a, a recommendation plan, an action plan that you can start using in your everyday life to overcome these blockages and work through these issues and start applying it in your everyday life. So guys, if you'd like to get a reading done, you can get in touch with me on my website, that's venusianscorp.com. You can even get in touch with me on my Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash venusianscorp. And you can also drop me an email at astrolove111 at gmail.com. I also wanted to add that, you know, I do these reports like, you know, I give you a written report, which is basically a customized report of your birth chart and all the action plan and recommendations that um, you would need to move through these issues and blockages in your chart. But if you don't want the written report and if you're looking for something a little more informal and, you know, uh, something a little quicker, then, you know, you could uh, get in touch with me on my Facebook page, that, which I've already mentioned before, facebook.com slash Corp. And we can get in touch on Messenger. You can drop me a message on Messenger and let me know. And I can give you like a one hour reading, uh, which is, of course, uh, much more cost effective than the uh, written report that I provide. Uh, so this probably it'll be about an hour, an hour and a half, and I will give you the reading on Messenger through a Messenger call, and you can tell me what your issues are, and I can provide you a recommendation based on that. Okay, so let's get started with Taurus moons. So Taurus is ruled by the Earth um, element. Uh, it is the second sign of the zodiac. Uh, Taurus moons like. That this particular placement is known to be exalted. Why is it called exalted? Because your moon is your emotions, it's your subconscious, it's the way you think, you react at a very primal, instinctive level. And Taurus is a stable sign, it's an earth sign. Now, why aren't any of the other earth signs considered, you know, like you have to look at Virgo moon or Capricorn moon, why aren't they considered exalted and why only Taurus? Because Taurus, apart from being an earth element, uh, it is a fixed sign, so fixed means stable, and so because the moon is always changing, the moon finally finds a place where it can dock itself, where it can remain stable, and where it doesn't have to keep shifting its emotions and moods very often. This is the reason why Taurus moons are often known to be very calm and patient and stable people. And they don't really get riled up very easily. Uh, if they do, it would have to be something really... Uh, extreme for them to reach that point but otherwise they are very very stable they're very calm they're peace peace loving people like I said uh, at the beginning of the video if the Taurus Sun sign is a bull the Taurus moon sign is like a cow it's very uh, very placid it's very calming so a lot of people who uh, know Taurus moon will say this that you know the Taurus moon person has a very calming influence on them so this is the vibe that they give out. A lot of the Taurus moon women have this kind of an earth goddess vibe about them. The Taurus men, uh, Taurus moon men as well, they are very 
um, you know, they love peace in the relationships, they love harmony, they love balance in life. And both the men and women, they don't like to let life get them down for too long. They are very practical. That's another thing I wanted to mention. Taurus, because it's an earth sign, it carries with it the practicality of all the other earth signs. So they, they have a very matter of fact approach towards life. They don't like to um, be too idyllic or too much in their head or too much in their dreams. They, they know that this is the real world. And, you know, to get certain things, you have to work. Uh, to a certain extent and achieve the things that you want. So they don't have any fantasies or illusions about life or how to get certain things in their life. Taurus moons can be a little bit slow to learn. Now, what I mean by that is they can be a little bit slow to learn things or they can be a little bit slow to reach a certain purpose or destination in their life. And why is that? Because Taurus, you know, they need to be knowing that they are at the right time doing the right thing and they are uh, at the right place in their life. And so they like that certainty in their life. Taurus is all about certainty and stability. And this is why change affects them very badly. They, they are not very uh, comfortable with sudden changes or, you know, unexpected changes in their life. They like predictability. They like to know what it is they are getting into. They like to know what they can expect out of a certain situation or event in life and so because they prefer this kind of certainty in their life they you know before they take a decision uh, before they arrive at a decision they need to really consider all the angles all the possible outcomes of that decision and then they will finally make their choice so this is why a lot of people say the taurus moons are very slow to react they're very slow to uh, make decisions about anything or they're even very slow to uh, reach their goals in life and that's again because of these reasons they take their time to analyze the situation and unless and until they're 100 percent sure <clears throat> they're not going to really go ahead with something uh, they won't really uh, they are not the kind of people who will jump in head first into the water you know unlike the aries moon that i talked about in my previous video aries is very uh, impulsive they like change they embrace change. They actually thrive on it. But Taurus Moon is pretty much the opposite in that sense, in that they don't like to uh, be thrown open to sudden changes in their life. They like it slow and mellow. They like to take things slow in their life. And if they have decided to pursue something, it is after much deliberation and consideration. But once they do decide to do something, then they are in it 100% and you will find that tenacity of the bull, the tenacity of Taurus really shine through. That is when they really put their heart, mind and soul into their effort or into their goal and really push through. It's kind of like the bull plowing through the fields, right? They take their own slow time and, uh, you know, they're slow and steady and they make sure that the job is well done. Taurus moons are very meticulous workers. You know, at the, at the workplace, they make sure that if they are given a task, if they are given a deadline, that they, they are going to make sure that it is done 100%. So they are very reliable in that sense. They are reliable people in general. They are reliable people at the workplace. Uh, even in relationships, they're very duty-bound. Duty Just like all the other earth signs, they are very duty-bound. They like to make sure that, you know, they are fulfilling all their roles and obligations in the relationship so that the partner is never wanting, the partner never has to never has to ask for anything in the relationship. So they are very conscientious people. And that is why they're very reliable, they're very faithful, they're also very loyal people. Uh, Taurus moons, a lot of them can have issues related to the eyes uh, and also related to the throat. Like if the moon is in a bad uh, uh, placement or if it's negatively aspected, then there could be issues with the throat as well. Uh, so uh, take care Taurus moons that you know you uh, you know you exercise the Taurian qualities in you like you know channel it into art and creativity because Taurus moons are extremely creative people they generally have a natural flair for singing or drawing or you know painting some kind of an artistic outlet because um, again Taurus is ruled by Venus and Venus rules everything that's related to beauty and attraction so because of this, Taurus moons tend to have a natural flair for creativity and artistic talent. And the more you hone it, Taurus moons, the more you express this creative side of you, 
the more you'll be able to cultivate this moon personality of yours, Taurus moon personality of yours. Taurus moons tend to like luxuries. Yes, that is true. But at the same time, I feel this is quite a bit of a misconception. A Taurus moon at the end of the day is a practical, uh, you know, placement. They will not spend beyond their means. They are quite thrifty. They are quite frugal in that sense. If they are earning a certain amount, they are not going to overspend beyond their means. Uh, so even if they do like luxuries, they are going to buy things that give their soul a sense of peace, that give their senses a sense of calm and uh, peace and harmony. That doesn't mean that it necessarily has to be branded uh, luxuries or, you know, high-end expensive items. It need not be the case. Yes, of course, if they have the means, if they have the resources to spend that kind of money, of course they will. But uh, this is not generally the case. Taurus moons, they like comforts. More than luxury, they like comforts. And actually, a lot of people have this misconception that Taurus moons are all about luxuries and I'm all about the expensive life and branded items. That's not true. Actually, Taurus moons like comfort above luxury. So I'd like to stress this point, comfort above luxury. So it could be a non, you know, it could be... Um, a piece of clothing that is not from a branded retailer but it has um, it's not from a high brand but it has a sense of comfort and luxury when they wear it which makes them feel um, which makes their senses come alive because Taurus is again ruled by the senses it's Venusian so they like to have clothes that feel nice or you know ambience that looks good or their surroundings that smell good. So they will invest in these things, but it's not going to necessarily be a very expensive item or something that is only branded. And like I said before, Taurus moons actually need very little to be happy and satisfied in life. I think they have a few set criteria that they have that, you know, I need X, Y, Z things in my life to feel safe and happy and peaceful and contented. And if I have those, then it doesn't matter what else life throws at me. I will be I will be feeling peaceful and happy with just those things. So they don't really look for quantity. Uh, they look for quality. So as long as those criteria are satisfied for the Taurus moon, they're very, very happy to just continue with those things. They, they're not really um, excessive in their purchases. They don't really buy things that they don't really need. And that's again what I said before, like they take their time to take a decision. So even if it's about a purchase, uh, you know, for a, a piece of clothing or something for the home or something that uh, probably uh, makes the house look more beautiful, they will weigh the pros and cons. Is this really value for money? It's a practical sign. Taurus is also materialistic and they don't believe in spending their money unnecessarily until and unless they're getting value for that money. So even if they do spend, they will weigh the pros and cons and they will be like, okay, is this going to give me the value for money that I'm spending on it? Like if I'm spending X number of uh, X amount of dollars, is it really making my home uh, that beautiful? Or is it really going to make me look better? Uh, that kind of stuff. So they're not going to spend uh, impulsively or without consideration. Taurus moons are also very sensitive people. A lot of people uh, have this misconception that because it's an earth sign, it's an earth, earth placement, and because it's so very stable, and also because Taurus moon is exalted, a lot of people think that Taurus moons are not, they don't really have too many feelings or emotions. That's not true at all, actually. Taurus moons are highly sensitive people. They feel things very deeply, um, but it's just that they have a tough time showing it. They have a tough time expressing those feelings. Because again, the moon is our feelings, unlike a cancer moon, which will be more expressive in its emotions and its feelings. A Taurus moon is an earth sign. So it's kind of like putting soil over the emotions. You know, it's kind of like putting a lid on it. So they won't outwardly express these emotions, but inside they feel things extremely, extremely deeply. They are very sensitive people. And so it's important that, you know, they surround themselves with people who understand this aspect of them and who don't uh, take advantage of their peaceful and calm, loving nature. Because a lot of the times people think that Taurus moons, just because they don't react 
that they don't have emotions or just because they don't react that they don't uh, you know that they can be taken advantage of so many people can take advantage of Taurus moons or literally provoke them just like how you provoke a bull right some people keep poking the bull and keep on provoking them and uh, until and unless the bull finally you know loses its temper and just goes on a rampage so that's kind of like the Taurus moon they take their time uh, they don't get angry very easily but once they do it it can spiral to a very bad state. Then I don't think any other moon sign can compete with their anger. That's the level of anger the Taurus moons have. But again, one thing I wanted to clarify is there are a lot of videos out there that say that Taurus moons are, uh, you know, they are the kind of people who will throw things around or who will break things. That's not true. Taurus moons, they do get angry, but their anger will be more verbal and their anger will be more, um, you know, by what they tell the other person. It's not going to be, it's not as literal as just, you know, Taurus being the bull and so the bull goes on a rampage and breaks things and so the Taurus moons are also going to break things. It's not like that. Taurus moons do get angry, but even in their anger, they remain, they maintain that certain level of uh, decorum. You know, they are not the type of people who are going to throw things around and break things. Uh, good colors for Taurus moons are the early colors. They look really good in early colors. So browns, greens, uh, you know, uh, the muted yellows. Um, those are all very good colors. Guys, that's my take on Taurus moon. And if you like my video, please do give it a thumbs up. And, and if you haven't already subscribed, do subscribe to my channel. You can click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that uh, whenever I post videos, you will get a notification. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And so there is a lot of content coming up. So stay tuned and uh, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.